When flying with the GTN, we'll spend most of the time on the map screen. In the bottom right-hand corner, there are dedicated zoom in and zoom out keys. Thanks to the touchscreen, we also have the ability to use our finger to pan around the map and look at what's nearby. When we're zoomed in, we can highlight anything on the map and receive more information about it. If we see an airport, we can touch it and then press Waypoint Info button that appears on the bottom of the screen. If we want an airport diagram, we can touch Preview. If we want to see the approaches they have, we touch Procedures. If we want to look at their runways, we can touch the Runway tab. We can then even select a specific runway to get more information about it. We also have a Frequencies button that we can use to tune an airport's comm and nav frequencies. And if we have a GDL69 weather receiver and the proper XM subscriptions, we can select the Weather tab and see the current conditions there on the ground. In the bottom left of the screen, there's also a small back button. Anytime we select that, we'll be taken to whatever screen we were looking at prior to the one we're on. In this case, it'll take us back to the map screen. Of course, we also could have touched Home and then Map. Now let's take a look at a VOR. To get more information, we can touch that VOR, and the bottom of the screen displays Pueblo VOR. A Next button appears. Anytime we see Next, it means that there's other nearby options for what we might have been trying to select with our finger. In this case, it's Pueblo Airport. If we touch Next here, the GTN will toggle between Pueblo VOR and Pueblo Airport. We'll stay on Pueblo VOR for now and select the Info button at the bottom of the screen. Anytime we see a frequency like the one displayed here, we can always touch it and throw it into our standby. Notice the on-screen animation to let you know the frequency is going into the standby slot. If we're interested in learning more about a nearby airspace, we can also just touch near the border of it. It'll show the information box, which we can select, and it'll give us all the relevant information on that airspace. Now, when you're done panning around the map and you want to recenter your aircraft, all you have to do is touch the back button. At the bottom of the screen, we'll find the menu button. Menu is your friend. Whenever we select it, we'll get options related to the screen we've been viewing. If we touch it now on the map screen, we get options related to the map page. From here, we can control the amount of detail on the map, turn on or off terrain data, put airways on the map, and more. We can also change the data fields that appear on the map. There's a whole list of options to choose from. Let's set off on a basic flight using the GTN. We're on the ground at Centennial Airport in Denver, Colorado, and the first thing we want to do is set our comm frequencies. We can do this by pressing Home, then Waypoint Information, and select Airport. From here, we can choose Frequencies. We'll know we want ATIS first, so we'll select that and flip it into the active. The next thing we'll want is clearance delivery, so we'll choose that and it sets it up in my standby. We can then flip it from standby into the active. The next thing we know we'll want is ground. So we'll select that and that goes into the standby slot. We're going to take a trip down to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Normally, we'd be okay flying a direct route, but given the Colorado terrain, this time it's better to stick to the airways. Let's assume we've got our clearance and we're cleared to the Albuquerque airport Direct Pueblo, Victor 611, Albuquerque VOR, then Direct Albuquerque. So first, we'll go to Home, then to Flight Planning. Right there, it says Add Waypoint. We'll click the Find key because we know the airport we're at will always be under the nearest. Then we'll select our second waypoint, Direct Pueblo, so we'll enter P, U, B. From here, we need to add Victor 611. So we'll select our Pueblo VOR waypoint, and it brings up a list of things we can do with that waypoint. We'll select Victor 611, and we're going to be on it until Albuquerque. 
So we'll select Albuquerque as the exit waypoint for that airway. The GTN shows us the route we're going to take on the airway. After the airway, we're going to go direct to Albuquerque Airport. So we'll enter one last waypoint. K, A, B, Q. Now that we have the whole flight plan loaded, we can go home and then map to see the whole route.